Hey everybody, so I'm here to talk about uh, an entry into the contest for Jambo Comics 200 subscriber contest. So I'm supposed to show off uh, my favorite character from the Golden Age, um, from the Silver Age, Bronze Age. I'm also going to do a Modern Age just for fun. <clears throat> so I'm going to get it started off. I don't really have any Golden Age comics to speak of, and my favorite character uh, from then is Batman. So what I decided to do is try to get creative, and I have here Detective Comics 1000. Um, this is the 1930s cover, and so I wanted to show that off because it at least captures Batman from when he first started. Um, I know there's a glare, so I'm going to also kind of bring it closer and all so you can maybe see it a little bit better. But I love this cover. Actually, I don't know if I'm in the minority or not, but I love reading the Batman stories when he first appeared. Now you may be wondering... I've had the chance to do that when technology is probably not that hard anymore but in 2008 uh, for Christmas I got the Dark Knight and it came with um, some special edition stuff and so I also got this booklet right here and I know this book you know it just screams 2008 it doesn't have anything to do with the golden age but on the inside you can actually read the story of uh, Batman number one sort of the origin there the origin that we all know today very well um, hasn't drifted much either and then you have um, Batman with Robin, the Boy Wonder, and then I don't really know what issue that is. I'm I'm thinking it's first Joker. I'm pretty sure it is. So I've been reading this for the last twelve years now, and um, the story is amazing to be um, from nineteen probably forty. I'm guessing that one. Um, really good stuff. So I want to show that off as well. All right. So moving along to the Silver Age, um, my favorite um, character from this time is. The Amazing Spider-Man. So what I wanted to use to show off for that is um, we have issue number 20. It's the oldest uh, Spider-Man comic that I have. And so this is actually first appearance of Scorpion. So it's not in the best shape, obviously, or else I wouldn't be able to afford it, but still really proud of that book. And uh, It's one of my favorites that I own. Um, I also wanted to show off a couple others just because I really like them. I also have uh, Spider-Man number 29 which is actually second scorpion so i'm not obsessed with scorpion it's just i guess his were a little more affordable and i just so happened to come across them and this is one of my favorite covers also from the silver age and this is um spider-man 33 that classic artwork all right so next moving along to the bronze age and uh i think this character is He's definitely he definitely premiered in the Bronze Age, and I tried to get a show off a comic that was at least at the at the tail end um, before we kind of went into the modern age, according to what I looked up. So right here we have Wolverine number one, and Wolverine is of course my character. Um, my good friend, uh, good friends Wesley and Jessica bought this for me a while back, and I was super super happy with this comic. There's a good story behind it too if you ever watch our videos sometime. But yeah. Love that book, and just uh, I know this one may kind of dip into um, modern, but I also want to show off that I have the Wolverine number one from um, like the ongoing series and not the limited series. Very proud of that one, too. And um, the last one that I wanted to show off is uh, it was last minute I realized I, I wasn't sure who my favorite character was from modern, then I realized, oh, yeah, yes, I do, and I also just happened to have their first appearance. Um, so this is from 1988, and according to what I looked at, it said uh, modern starts somewhere around 1985. I'm sure it probably fluctuates depending on who you ask, but here we have the Amazing Spider-Man 300, which is the first appearance of Venom. Now, I definitely have other comics with Venom in the book, um, but I just wanted to show off that book for Venom. Even though he's not on the cover, this is his first appearance. I'm super super proud of this book it's the best book that i own in my opinion so there you have it uh for golden we have batman silver we have spider-man bronze wolverine and for modern we have venom um thanks so much for watching and good luck to everybody